Hello everybody. I'm going to work on a two-page spread in my Dilusions art journal. And this page was just a mop-up page, so it already has some color on it. And I just picked some papers that I thought would go well together and kind of tore them apart. Like this is two pieces of one, three pieces of another, three pieces of another. Um, just so kind of a, a fractured look, if you will. And working intuitively, as always, so once I get these down, I'm not sure where it's going to go, but... This is my starting point, so that's where I'm going to start. Oh, and I put um, just a coat of clear gesso on these pages. I use the Tri Arts clear gesso. I like this one. So I'm just going to use fluid matte medium and get these down. Okay, everything's down and dry. I'm just going to... Uh, use some white gesso and just kind of push stuff back a little bit the edges of these papers so that they look a little more cohesive and not quite so edgy and I'm not going to be real worried about evenness or anything just going to get it on there by the way, most of these papers are from my digital collage pack called Vintage, the Vintage Paper Pack. You can find them on my website for instant download. The link to my website is in the description box. Except for this cool paper. That was a Happy Mail paper from Karen Bradley. Karen, if you're watching, thanks again. I love it, and I've been waiting to use it, and I that was the first one I pulled out, and then the rest kind of went along with, so thank you. I love it. And I don't want to obscure everything. I kind of want, I think I want to see the words and the writing and the patterning of the papers. this stamp. It's a Prima stamp. An Iron Orchid design by Prima. I'll put the number and everything in the description box below. It's just a really, really, really fine text stamp. And I'm just using archival ink in sepia. And I'm just going to go here and there. And just kind of fill up those empty spots and go over some of the papers in places getting hard on this side of this book. Because it's so fat. Okay. 
Okay, that's enough. Well, a little bit right here, I think. Okay. That just kind of helped fill that in a little bit more. I also took that ink pad and just ran it around the edges so that it looks more like one page instead of two separate pages. Okay, I'm going to use some modeling paste through this stencil. This is uh, the Crafters Workshop stencil by Rebecca, Rebecca Meyer called Mini Specimens. And I'm just using this U.S. Art Supply modeling paste. This is a good um, value. You get this great big tub. It is 500 ml. I'm not sure what that translates to in terms of ounces, but it's it's a pretty decent sized tub. But I'm going to um, tint some of this with some burnt sienna. Deco Art Burt Sienna Fluid Acrylic. So I'm just going to grab a palette knife here and put some on my mat. Mix it up. And because it's white, because it's white, you're going to get a tint rather than the actual paint color when you mix it. But I know I'm going to go over this, so I'm not too worried about how dark it is at this point. And I'm going to go here. on the end of this book. Yeah, that kind of smeared underneath. I'm going to clean that off before. get some darkness going on here I think. I'm going to stick with the brown tones. This is fluid acrylic in burnt sienna and I think I'm just going to kind of lightly, <laughs> as lightly as I can, do that. Oops off the page. All right, let's move that if we can so it doesn't go in between, which is why I have the paper on there. And I'm just going to move it a little bit with my finger. 
want it on that modeling paste. butterflies. And I'm going to try something I haven't done before at this stage. I don't know if it'll work or what it'll do really. This is a real fine mist sprayer. And I'm going to take this piece of deli paper and I'm just going to squish it up. I'm hoping for some good texture, but we'll see. I'm not sure if this will do anything. And if not, we'll move along. worked good. All right. I'm just scrunching it and pushing it into the page, into that wet paint. I like it. Here on the top, we didn't get. That's kind of cool too. We'll let that dry and put it in the bin with the multitude of papers that need to be used. Okay, I'm going to dry this. Okay, I cut a lot of that drying time out as you might have expected. I want to bring back that modeling paste so we can see that pattern better. I'm, I'm going to rub on some black. I just have regular black crafters acrylic. I'm just going to get a little on my finger and hit the high spots of the real light. Starting to feel a like a rusty vibe here. I don't know if I'll head in that direction or not, but the colors are conducive to it. That helped a little bit just to pick up a little more of that texture from the paste. Got my head hitting the camera. Kind of feeling for where it is because it's it kind of got buried. I wet my finger a little bit right there. It got a little too concentrated. There is a little white under there. And that's the color of the page poking through there. Since we brought a little black into this, I'm going to use this handmade 
texture stamp. I made these for my Fast Fun Friday. I think it was last week. Just out of this textured fun foam stuff. And this one just makes some cool grungy and I'm just kind of moving it to as I put it down just to get a little pattern but grunge too here and there I don't want a ton and it's sticking to my fingers because I have that Aileen's tack it over and over on it so that it will stick to my acrylic block but it sticks to my fingers too so it's all good enough. Just a little grungy texture in the background. It's time to start thinking about a focal point, I think. So I'm going to see what I can find. Okay, I went through my people folder, pulled out a bunch of different options, but these were the two that seemed to blend the best with this page. I was looking for kind of aged looking pictures, which these certainly are. I don't know who she is. This is a Mr. Hannah that was prominent in politics in Ohio in the 1800s. And I'm not sure, um, the name is still familiar to me from modern day Cleveland history. There is a Hannah Theater in Cleveland, so I don't know if that's the same family or not. But anyway, um, the colors were good. The aged uh, history look to them seemed to go well for me. And then I pulled out a piece of tea dyed magazine page, and I'm just going to attach those kind of there. And then I got this, something came in the mail the other day, and this little envelope, I don't even remember what it was, but this little envelope was in there. So I just put a little bow made out of rusty cheesecloth on there, this tucks in there. I might put that there just for kind of a block of contrast. It's, it's kind of plain right in there. Maybe I'll put words on it. So I'm going to get this glued down and I'll be back. Okay, these guys are glued down and I just took some burnt sienna fluid acrylic, watered it down and just went over them with my fingers to just blend them <clears throat> in a little bit more. And then I found this in my stash. I made these a while back on a video. They're just on old playing cards. and. I think this needs to be balanced a little bit more over to this side with something on this side. So I think I'm going to put this down here. I might, I'm not sure if I want to darken that playing card, the background of that playing card. The page does need some light though, so maybe I'll just leave it the way it is for right now. And I'm going to grab my... <coughs> Matte gel medium. Actually, let me get the heavy gel medium. <clears throat> this is matte super heavy gel because that card is pretty heavy. And I'll just get that glued down. Is losing hairs again. 
helps to put it both on the page and on whatever you're gluing down. You may need to end up having to clamp this perhaps. Maybe not. If I hold it long enough it'll stick. You need a heavy bag of rice or something. It's okay. It's staying. Okay. So I think that's better. I'm going to find something to tuck into this little pocket. But like I said, I think the page needs some lightness. It's all pretty dark. So I may just get my fine liner and do some um, acemic writing maybe across this with that. Why not, right? I have the fine liner, fine line applicator. It's got a fine tip, and I just have um, Titan Buff uh, High Flow Acrylic in here. These bottles are nice because they have the they have the wire. Can you see that? There's a wire in the cap that fits down into the needle. So it doesn't get clogged. All right, let's see. Let's go across here. Mm hmm. I like that. That's better. And I'm going to put some up here, too. Semic writing is just not writing. It looks like it could be writing. But it's just scribbles. Just scribbles. I think sometimes when you try to write, like I've tried to write in my really messy in my own hand, and it just doesn't come out very well. I still try to get too neat. So if I'm not trying to write real words, then it, it works. That helped, I think. I do, I think that helped. I could add some Posca pen, but mine is just white, and I think, I don't want pure white on here. I think it would it wouldn't look good. But I do want to add stabilo and that's it's going to make it darker. So maybe what I'll do is just let's just go around the edge and we'll kind of frame it just with the squiggly line. I don't care if it's broken in places even. Just frame it in a little bit. That also helps the two page spread look more like one page, like it all goes together. This maybe is it's a bit modern looking or Something about it is bothering me, or it's too stark black. Maybe that's what it is. Well, you know what? Well, let's just take a little bit of this on my mat. This is just the Titan Buff from my fine liner. I'll just grunge this up a little bit, maybe. Just so it's not so stark. Like, all I'm seeing is just a rectangle of black. So I'm going to just do this. And I'm just going to do it until it looks good to me. <laughs> it's more gray and it goes better with the page. 
All right, I better dry this. Okay, this is all dry. I am going to go around the focal points and maybe a couple of the elements with the Stabilo All pencil. Uh huh. See that? I just got this. It came pre sharpened. It broke. All right. I actually got three. Let's see if they're all broke. I might come back with the little brush, moist brush, spread this out a little bit better. say it's done. I like it. It was fun. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd appreciate it if you did that. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.